students so now i want to discuss about uh, antennas for hf vhf uhf in that hf vhf uhf antennas the most important antennas so in that high frequency very high frequency uh, ultra high frequency antennas are dipole arrays folded dipole v antennas inverted v antennas rhombic antennas agude antennas log periodic antennas loop antennas helical antennas whip antennas ferret rod antennas tungsten antennas super tungsten antennas discon antennas notch antennas those antennas are high frequency antennas very high frequency antennas ultra high frequency antennas and coming to that uh, uh, individual antennas with their features so this is the dipole antenna so here this is called as dipole antenna it has two dipoles so there are two types broadside array and fair array so when the antenna has bidirectional or multidirectional radiation characteristics why because it is a dipole antenna so that's why it has multidirectional radiation characteristics so this is called as folded dipole antenna so here the folded shape so the antenna with the fold shape so the that is called as folded dipole and this antenna can be used as active element in agouda antenna this antenna is used as active element means the primary element in agouda antenna it is a single antenna but it consists of two elements so this is a single antenna it consists of two elements and that antenna the current flows through antenna is i and this is nothing but a left side arm and this is nothing but right side arm and both side arm the current flows each and individual arm i by 2 and that uh, the spacing between the two arms is lambda by 100 this is lambda by 100 it's nothing but very small and it's nothing but a very small so it is a active element uh, it used as a active element in aguda antenna and coming to that nest antenna this is nothing but v antenna so v antenna which is the shape of v and the two long wires are arranged with the shape of v and that is called as a v antenna in v antenna is it has a high gain and high directivity so if the length of the wires are increased to increase the gain so if, if you want to increase gain and the length of wire can be increased and that angle between that V antenna, two wires in between two wires of the antenna is 36 degrees to 472 degrees. So between this angle, angle is 36, 36 degrees to 72 degrees. And there are two types of V antennas, resonant V antenna, non-resonant V antenna. And that uh, it has bidirectional characteristics and it can be used in HF bands, high frequency bands. And this is called as inverted V antenna. Inverted V antenna which is shape of inverted V and the two long wires are arranged with the shape of inverted V. And one end was terminated with the resistance and that it is also called as a traveling wave antenna. It can be used in same as well as HO band and it is a receiving antenna. It has high gain. And coming to the next antenna, this is nothing but a rhombic antenna. Rhombic antenna which is with the shape of rhombus, rhombus shape. And that uh, uh, the two, uh, it is a combination of V antenna and inverted V antenna. So V antenna and inverted V antenna combination is a uh, rhombic antenna. Here uh, it has high bandwidth as well as it can be used for point to point communication. Point to point communication can be possible in uh, rhombic antenna. It is a traveling wave antenna. It can be easy to construct and easy to uh, but cost cost is cheaper. But the drawback of this rhombic antenna is it takes installation part is more space. The disadvantage on the drawback this is more space for installation and efficiency also less. At that one end is terminated with resistance that resistance is around 800 ohms. So this is the rhombic antenna. And coming to the next antenna, Agiwood antenna, one of the most important question in exam point of view. This is the uh, Agiwood antenna. We already discussed about whatever the folded dipole. The folded dipole here used as an active element. This is the folded dipole. The folded dipole used as an active element. So this is the active element and this is nothing but a director and uh, this is nothing but a director and this is nothing but a 
reflectors so it has uh, three parts that is nothing but active element reflector and director so it has one active element one reflector few uh, one or more directors the active element length is lambda by 2 and the reflector length is less than greater than lambda by 2 and the director length is less than lambda by 2 the directors of the antenna depending upon gain requirements if you want to high gain the uh, we can use number of directors and the impedance of the active element is resistive and the impedance of the reflector is inductive and the impedance of the director is capacitive it has very good front uh, front to back ratio why because so here the reflector was used the wave was moving on through this antenna and here reflected back again so and the bandwidth is limited and it is can be used as to receive number of tv channels here easy uh, this is the one of the good antenna and uh, so uh, it has it, it can be used for tv antennas and etc and it is a very good antenna and it performs very better and uh, next antenna is log periodic antenna so here this is the uh, log periodic antenna so it is a non-linear antenna why it is called as non-linear antenna uh, why because the length of the dipoles as well as the spacing between the dipoles are not equal so that's why it is called as a log periodic antenna and that uh, it is a um, but extension is uniform it is a broadband antenna it is also used for the to receive number of uh, tv channels and uh, so it is more efficient for uh, uh, rhombic antenna whatever we have already discussed with the rhombic antenna so it performs more efficient than rhombic antenna and so it has unidirectional characteristics so next coming to the next antenna this is nothing but a loop antenna so there are uh, four types of loops uh, circular loop square loop rectangular loop circular folded loop so this is the nothing but circular folded loop and uh, it is a form of loop uh, and uh, so it consists of uh, two wire stones dc circuit and loop antenna loop antenna can be formed as circular square rectangular shape and uh, so it, uh, it has uh, very good uh, it, uh, it produce horizontal polarization as a vertical loop antenna produce vertical polarization and horizontal loop produce horizontal polarization and uh, so it can be used in lf mf hf uh, uhf frequency ranges uh, etc and the radiation efficiency is small loop is poor if the loop size is very small and that radiation efficiency is very less it can be suitable for uh, to use mobile communication etc so coming to the next antenna it is a helical antenna helical antenna is one of the most important antenna so this is the helical antenna which is shape of helix and that uh, the polarization depending upon the diameter of the helix as well as the pitch length of the helix and the wavelength extension etc so and that uh, whatever the helix the end of the helix was con uh, connected with coaxial cable and that coaxial cable was connected with the AT antenna trainer unit and so by using of the trainer unit we can find out uh, how much gain how much directivity etc and that uh, it can be used for uh, uh, very high frequency levels and uh, so VHF bands and the radiation is very maximum the polarization is almost circular why because uh, it produces circular polarization and that uh, coming to that next antenna this is the features of helical antenna it is a similar, simple antenna it produces circular polarization it can be used in VHF and UHF bands and the it can be used for axle modes and uh, the efficiency is small and the applications of helical antenna is it can be used for the anosphere propagation and it can be used in space and, space and satellite communication it can be used in radio astronomy etc this is with antenna with antenna is used for uh, mobile communication so this is the core antenna it is also called as core antenna it can be used in hf and vhf bands uh, the length can be reduced by the loading and so around the length will be taken as 4 feet it has high gain this is ferret rod antenna and rod element and uh, the copper wire the copper wire was uh, 
conducting uh, conducting material so here the antenna which is consist of the ferret rod and which a coil so that is called as ferret rod antenna the number of turns worn and this commonly used in radio receivers it is a very compact and the quality factor q is very high in ferret rod antenna and coming to the turn still antenna this is called as turn still antenna so here the two dipoles are placed as perpendicular to each other so that is called as a turn still antenna and the two dipoles are equal size and equal face etc and it is almost produce omnidirectional uh, direction why because uh, omnidirectional radiation pattern why because the two dipoles are there and here the radiation pattern was produced so that's why omnidirectional radiation was produced here it can be used in tv and fm broadcasting broadcasting and uh, so the bands are used at that uh, Tom steel antenna is VHF and UHF frequency bands and that polarization was improved by using super tom steel antenna the difference between tom steel antenna and super tom steel antenna is nothing but in that super tom steel antenna here there was uh, used four flat surface sheets nowadays we are using this for uh, mobile communication etc and the voltage standing wave, wave ratio is 1.1 1 is to ratio and the super tan sunshine antenna is used for to produce more horizontal gain etc and coming to the next antenna discon antenna which is shape of disc as well as cone and so that is that's why it is called as discon antenna so the disc and cone together is formed as discon antenna the radiation pattern is similar to vertical dipole whatever the vertical dipole produce the radiation pattern similar as discon antenna was produced the cable length is semi angle is about 30 degrees so here the angle is 30 degrees and the diameter of the disc is 3/4 of the diameter of the base so whatever the base is there the diameter of the base uh, diameter of the disc is 3/4 of the ground so 3/4 of the diameter base of the cone It is a broadband antenna. It can be used in HF, VHF, and UHF bands, so very high frequency bands and ultra high frequency bands. And it can be used in airport communication system as well as mobile communication system. So in mobile communication system, the base stations, whatever the base stations is there, so in that uh, the discon antenna can be used, and it is very uh, compact and economical. So that's why people prefer for discon antenna. This is a notch antenna. So. the meaning of notch is the in that flat surface uh, flat sheet at the corner uh, can be cut with the shape of v or a circular shape so that's why it is called uh, it is called as notch antenna it is a open ended slot antenna it is also called as open ended slot antenna it is a broadband antenna notch can a notch antenna can be made very easily and body of the aircraft sir it can be used in body of the aircraft so thank you students if you have any doubts ask me in comment section so this is the brief introduction of the hf vhf uhf antennas one of the important uh, uh, chapter in antennas so if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in comment section thank you thank you guys